everyone. This is Dr. Kevin Prasad. Welcome to another video on Astrology Vastu. Uh, since it's an election season in India, uh, people are asking about what is the astrological combinations required for a person to be successful in politics. Right? So uh, let's see the, uh, uh, the astrological combinations. So my response is basically with reference to a democratic country or democratic for our politics or democratic election process, right? Okay, so like uh, countries like uh, US, India, UK, like that. So now let's see the astrological combinations. First, what which bhava, which house we have to see is the lagna, lagna, lagna lord. That has to be very, very strong in combination to. The 10th house is the profession and the 11th house is the fulfillment of the game, right? Without these three houses, 1, 10 and 11, a person cannot be interested in the polit in politics. That is, the first house has to be very, very dominated. Okay, why? The first house is what? Lagna self. What does politicians do? They're very selfish. Selfish in the sense they want to be in the limelight. They want to be, they are ruling the people, right? They are coming to the power. So it everything has to be me, I. So that has to be dominant. And 10th house, of course, the profession, right? The profession has to be related to it. And 11th house is the gains. Along with that, Another critical house, that is sixth house. People might think, oh, sixth town is the bad dushtara. Why you need sixth house? Again, please note, what did I say? I said in a democratic system. In the democratic system, what does it mean? You have to contest election and you have to win over op your opponents. That is... That will denote your, I mean, that will come from the sixth house. What is sixth house? Sixth house is for enemies. Okay. The sixth house has to be strong. I mean, basically, you put the sixth house is strong. That means you will be able to fight against your enemies and then your opponents and then you will uh, get the victory. So, again, remember, one, six. 10 and 11. If you have mostly 1, 10, 11 is also good enough, but 6 also is important. Okay? Or 1, 6, 10, 11. These bhavas has to be strong. The strong planets has to be in these bhavas. Along with that, there are other two planets are responsible. One is sun and other one is moon. So sun is Sun represents leadership, power, administration, a leadership, right? King. Sun is what? King. Moon is what? Queen. So we, you need to have these two planets uh, influence as well, right? So you need to run the Dasha periods of these planets, either sun, moon, and the sun, moon. If sun and moon planets are associated with one, uh, one, six, ten, eleven, it is excellent. Then we can surely say that that person will be interested in politics and that person will definitely see victory in politics. And people might ask, how come, uh, how we can say politics is ups and downs? Sometimes they will, they will, and sometimes they lose. How do, how do we do it? So the same combination, along with that, you have to look at eight and 12 houses. Fifth house, five, eight, and twelve. If there is strong influence of five, eight, and twelve in combination of the six, then that is where the person, the candidate, will lose the election, will lose the power. If they are already in power, that means they will lose it, lose their position. Or you know, if they could be a current uh, member of parliament or minister or MLA, you know, whatever, or a senator or a congressman, you know, depending upon your country setup, 
your uh, political system, whoever is the elected member, right? So if these periods, if those bhavas are active and those particular dasha periods are running, that is how those bhavas will become active and that is where you one could lose their elections. Uh, hope you like this uh, video. We will talk about another interesting topic on another day. Thank you.